Coach, last time we had a chance to talk to you, the team had just lost two games. Now they've won two in a row, which should make for a happier situation. What made the difference? Well, I don't think it's any one thing, John. Uh, undoubtedly, schedule had something to do with it, and it was rather unfortunate, probably, that in a new coaching staff's first year together, a lot of youngsters being on the squad, too, a new offense, and having two of our tougher opponents coming right at the beginning of the schedule probably had as much to do with those two losses as any other one thing. Uh, we've always thought that we still had good potential this year. Uh, we just didn't really get a chance to get off the ground with it right at the beginning of the season, and probably the schedule helped us get off the ground. But at the same time, I don't think there's been any doubt either that uh, probably there's been a Oh, a great pickup in the tempo of the way the kids have gone at the football game and in practice. So putting the two things together, I think this has helped us come out with the two wins that we've put back to back now. And both of those wins came with uh, you using what you termed your best 11 football players on both offense and defense. Are you going to continue to do this now? Well, I don't think there's any doubt that this is something we need to keep working with. We probably, uh, in the last week, We've probably worked less with changing the whole unit at once now than we did in the Valparaiso game. So rather than change whole units, we're probably changing one and two men at a time because we started to work some people with our defensive unit now that are as good as anyone. So rather than change the whole unit, while well, we've got our best 11 that are there and ready, however, it's beginning to be a little doubt about who is best at the defensive position, so we just don't change them all right now. But yes, we'll continue this philosophy all the way through the season. I'm going to have a lot of people in the stands there tomorrow. It's homecoming, and Eastern Michigan will be here. What do we know about Eastern Michigan at this point? Well, Eastern Michigan's a fine ball club. Uh, they have maybe not as much depth as uh, a lot of other teams, but they have some real fine performers. They're big and strong. They run well, uh, they throw the ball conservative, but they throw well when they do throw, so it'll be a tough ball game. Amos Van Pelt going to play tomorrow? Amos will be starting at his tailback spot, and as far as we know, uh, it looks like he's healthy and ready to go. Okay, and good luck to you. Thank you, John.